speak about uh, double affine KK category and the fine string refiners. Okay, thank you very much for the introduction and thanks a lot to the <clears throat> organizers for inviting me. It's a pleasure to be here and make it my first time in Edinburgh. Uh, I hope it's not the last one. Okay, so I will start with kind of general motivation and uh, 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 frankly, it is on the distance from the motivation to the result. And uh, so conjecture um, the equivalence um, double affine happy categories. It's something related to classical limit. A classical limit of um, geometric angles. So first recall, uh, if we start, as was already recalled uh, times in the conference. Uh, so if we start with um, G, we have um, we consider the cotangent uh, to the flag space. And then we can have a product uh, of this over G with a moment map, and then the quotient for uh, good measure uh, by the group action. Uh, so this would be uh, just the same as coherent sheaves on the cotangent to the stack. And then we take the derived category. Uh, I mean, so first we should take just the Hegel category, and it becomes an algebra and the convolution. We then also to include the relations. And then this is going to be the confined case algebra. So this is due. <laughs> Have done Lustig and Ginsburg in the 80s. But uh, more recently, but also something we can also there is this generalization to double version. Uh, it's due to Lorenzo and Marcelo. Just uh, that. Let's now uh, replace G by the loop group, which um, uh, already appeared several times. So I don't need to have time. Recording things, and then it has this Iwahori subgroup. So I think this is a fine flag variety. <laughs> and then I can still form um, an analogous gadget. So I can form the contingent stack with LG. Mod I, mod I. And again, I can define the uh, bounded derivative. Okay, can you consider bounded derivative of coherent sheaves <laughs> uh, and make them equivariant uh, uh, make them equivariant under the loop group? Uh, sorry, the equivalence under the loop group is already here, but the addition also of Put it here, so it's a little bit not in but I want to put the um, additional covariance for uh, GM square now. So this uh, contains a uh, dilation of the fiber of the cotangent bundle and also uh, the section acting on the loop. Um, 
And so, so this is again a monoid locating. I mean, this is uh, now infinite dimensional. So just like here, well, I said that's uh, the K group. Um, it's, um, I think algebra but of course derives k degree of this k it is monoidal and the convolution and the k group is just the algebra structures just <clears throat> the trace of that and uh, so there are various kind of issues with infinite dimensionality which are successfully taken care of in this work so one can find it and the point is that this it's k group is nothing but uh, the uh, double of fine peak algebra And this invites the following conjecture that was actually uh, so 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 let's uh, call this monoidal KG case the double of fine KG KG series. Category and uh, if I want to. Independence on G, I put it here. And this invites the following conjecture that uh, so uh, the uh, key feature that about the ha that people um, like to contemplate <coughs> is uh, that it's self dual. So if you replace G by G check, <coughs> you get an uh, 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 isomorphic algebra. And conjecture is that H G is equivalent to G check. Uh, as a monoid category. So this conjecture was stated uh, in my paper with Finberg, uh, Mr. Finberg and Ivan Mirkovich uh, from 205. And so you can ask, how did we decide to categorify uh, uh, something that only appeared later? But the point is that we did a uh, uh, frankly, we uh, uh, so here it was stated in the spherical context, uh, was spherical, but uh, you see, yeah, for spherical, you know, uh, version. Uh, uh, so the point is that in this paper, we uh, did a kind of uh, um, some precursor to this result, so which is uh, where we did a similar computation for degenerate spherical Daha. So for us, Q, Q, Q was equal to T was equal to one. And it was also just G, L plus G rather than Ivahori. But already there, you know, the answer is, as an algebra, it's much less interesting, but if it's the self-duality feature is still striking. So, uh, so this is what we do. Calculation or degenerate conversion. And uh, it was uh, made around the same time by physicists uh, Kapustin. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, independently, it was proposed by Anton Kapustin and Natalia Soyan, his partner. Uh, where uh, they called it duality for Wilson Hoot of the Rangers. So. Okay, so uh, so where uh, yeah the conjecture is still open, uh, but. It connects, so the context for this is, uh, uh, this is uh, the local counterpart of something global. Or, uh, the global statement, which is uh, the classical remnant. Um, 
Uh, so by which I mean, uh, if we consider the hidden space, uh, we thought of as a stack, so just the T star G. Then famously, this is the total space of the Hitchin integrable system. And one expects uh, well, and a sort of an equivalence. I mean, maybe one can uh, say uh, um, uh, uh, so, so, so what I want to say is that it's kind of no. If I just say that there is a difference, then it may be imprecise, just in the usual geometric language. There are this. Uh, uh, Qualifications, you know, details and definition uh, of um, uh, the categories involved, uh, blindness conditions. Uh, but maybe here it's actually uh, I can just get rid of this by putting the zero here, meaning it's a certain uh, O. So, yeah, so uh, you just throw away some. Very bad hitching fibers, but you know, uh, keep <clears throat> um, the reasonable ones. Is it stability? Some stability. Uh, I think it's weaker. It's uh, so I guess you want to um, throw away the non reduced spectral curves, but ideally, you want to keep, uh, keep all reduced. Uh, <laughs> okay, I uh, look into that part carefully, but maybe maybe that's too ambitious. But uh, in any case, so so this is partly established. Uh, you want to take it? Yeah, if you want if, as you stated, it is definitely true. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so this is partly established uh, and done by uh, so uh then I keep on to uh very uh, important well by Rinkin and then follow up further up and there may be others. Other papers mentioning. So uh, the point here is that, say, for GLN, when we have a small spectral curve, then the fiber is just the Picard, the spectral curve, and then uh, we should be doing Fourier Mukai transform this abelian variety. And then, if it's a general group, it's something like that. It's some torsor or um, abelian. Or behold, some sort of a billion uh, yeah. 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 stacks, and that's so, so these authors quality to it. Uh, but uh, and what uh, Edema did uh, is that, that's kind of really doesn't talk much to my local context, but this already does. So he extended it to single spectral curves. It's for Jelen, no? Yes, yes. Yeah, I said partly, but yes, this is important. So this is general group G. Yeah. G, but for smooth. Yeah, yeah, there is very good points where for GLN it's just for Yamukai. And then this uh, people extended it to uh, general G, but still a very nice spectral curve used for GLN. And and the point is that this um, just showed uh, uh, should uh, fit. I mean, so this H, yeah, and uh, uh, so so this would also generalization. Generalization is 
uh, when I take parabolic version, so uh, one G. So it's replaced by uh, uh, and so bundles with uh, flags at a specific point of finding the main points. Reduction to this structure. <clears throat> Yeah, and then uh, the point here is that uh, these are local operators. Functors empty. Here we go. Uh, so, uh, uh, each, each space by local, uh, functus local modifications, just like Hecke functus and, and demonstrates. And so, so, so this <clears throat> equivalence should be confirmed. And so, okay, so I want to mention some ideas which are great. So, uh, so it was independent to explain it by drafting and the ranking, but unfortunately, it's not um, unpublished. Uh, and so I just want to mention that uh, first, um, kind of the global equivalence should really imply the local equivalence, in particular, this should give. Uh, an approach to proving it again uh, in the uh, yeah, well, case. I mean, so basically, uh, we know that uh, there's a description of uh, springy fibers, which is kind of uh, mixes the global geometry of the spectral curve and this uh, local geometry of that. Uh, Attention to flag space and uh, extracting the uh, local information. Uh, you should um, local. Uh, so it gives an approach uh, for the local statement for GLN. And uh, the uh, and second is that it's also like assuming uh, uh, local and global uh, the conjectures. I mean, local global compatibility it implies. Uh, that the equivalence, I mean, something that's really maybe more closer to topic of this conference and maybe to my own motivation. Mm -hmm. uh, so that this equivalence <laughs> monoidal, it is, is really um, compatible with the action of certain module categories. So here is what I wanna, um, Spell this out uh, with the options. Uh, so I fix E in the uh, linear algebra, and I want it to be regular, semi simple, <coughs> uh, but integral. And then I can take E check 
in the uh, Lung group of Langlands, Google the algebra and identify <clears throat> T with T check uh, using uh, an invariant quadratic form. And this of course identify like what uh, uh, <laughs> uh, was denoted by P e, uh, in Alexis' stop. Uh, C check. Uh, to check on the uh, uh, so I just want to E to match E check. You know. e. uh, yeah, matches E check under this. Hmm. Or rather, there are in polynomials match uh, under this. Uh, Is it like a loop there? Huh? Is it like loops into the Cartana? Yeah, yeah. Well, you identify these things and then also. Yeah, okay, C is right. So. And uh, uh, and then Then, um, so we can consider the uh, fine Springer fiber. Yes, already. Uh, before in the, in the conference, so this is uh, pre image, so if you have key star. Flags next to kind of a fine version of the spring you have to LG. This is next by E. <laughs> uh, and then um, one can form some sort of derived case here for hearing sheaves on the full E, and that would admit an action of H. And then uh, this should be zero to the capable of the hidden shifts. So we can, but here equivariant is not centralized. So somehow the uh, idea here is that the you we have an action of the centralizer, here we have the action of the uh, dual centralizer, but these centralizers are kind of dual uh, abelian algebraic groups in the sense of Lamont duality. And so the action of uh, Z here and of Z check here are compatible. For example, if uh, uh, the easiest kind of uh, thing to say, if you have a neck, if you have a co character, so if you have a character of Z, Maybe it's uh, better to put it on the dual side. Then here I can uh, twist by equivariant shapes by a character GM. Can twist it by this character, but this corresponds to a common motion from Z to element. Do we need equivalent on the left hand side as well? No, no, that's what I'm talking about, saying that. Here we have a Z action. Here we have the left action. And so this action is mentioned. So, so the multiplication by character station here. Sorry, how E, how are e and E check related? Yeah, that's what I said here. So they basically have the same characteristic polynomial. So I find spring fibers kind of have the same dimension, but they are not very different varieties of G. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so uh, now uh, eventually I want to talk about the result. Uh, And uh, uh, so now I want to motivation uh, to the result by S1 organization. So I, I'm just, uh, there is no mathematical statement here. I just replace the statement with another statement. <laughs> <laughs> about the relation between these two statements in this way. Uh, so this is um, the principle uh, that was <laughs> advertised some years ago by Sinander. Basically, uh, on the Mm -hmm. So we have an S1 uh, like loop rotation action on this loop group and on all the uh, uh, on the loop side, which is uh, you know something very concrete. It corresponds to something mm -hmm. that's less concrete on the coherent side. And the uh, things related to uh, quantum differential. Um, uh, so, so this is dual to uh, differential of a light S1 action uh, that. Uh, uh, replaces kind of uh, so if you take uh, so passing to fixed points corresponds to sort of doing something like that here. So 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 so, so it should be dual to something like uh, And by the way, I want to mention uh, just uh, again it's a digression but just, uh, some add something to the motivation um, uh, so so conjecture uh, that this category of uh, sheaves on the Springer fiber <clears throat> uh, should be equivalent to the category of um, modules at the critical level uh, 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 over the corresponding finally algebra and or integrable, uh, but uh, here G, here we work over K, uh, the large question. And so I uh, think of the, uh, so, so just to illustrate so that this uh, line, but yeah, this is related by S1 localization. Uh, to the fact that um, if I take, so, so uh, sorry, it is one uh, important point here, E. So E means the matching uh, central character. So, so the, this element E, of course, has to, since it's appeared in the left hand side, it must appear in the uh, right hand side. And it does. 
And so now uh, there's another uh, known result. Hmm. Uh, it's here. Uh, Uh, <clears throat> if I take uh, G mod I uh, so, so now here E will be just a, uh, important. Uh, in, uh, check. Uh, and then, so this will be matching central character and then uh, derived category of this is equivalent to now all the C. It's equivalent to derived category of the theory sheaves. Just usual spring fiber, well, derived spring. So this follows from um, and uh, there is some kind of abelian uh, equivalence uh, uh, related to abelian equivalence. Uh, anyway, so, so, okay, so this is- And, and you take the generic lift? Yeah, so the idea when I'm say, saying that this is my small localization, that's what I'm thinking about, that I, um, yes, that I uh, if I have a um, homogeneous um, yeah. until this homogeneous, then I have S1, uh, the loop rotation action, and then so if tilde is homogeneous, meaning it's scaled by the loop rotation, <clears throat> then I can take all each tilde and take the fixed points. Well, this one on GM. And then I get yes. Um, well. Um, yes, and then, uh, okay, so, uh, what is the other side? So, on one side, I see the change, but in the two lines here, the other side seems to be, yes, no, uh, it's, uh, um, right side there to the left side here, right? So, 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 uh, so we said that. It, So I said that this Islam localization replaces uh, by some of quantization. And um, this characteristic P kind of definitions are very close to coherent. And the basic zero passing to from characteristic P to basic zero and very close to uh, But okay, so now let me uh, plus two. Did you forget to put db on the right or I'm yes. yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. got one other question. Yeah. So like in this uh, localization picture, it's usually when you have like a Betty S1 action on your category. So like if the S1 action on like whole modules would have been something or like the loop rotation action on B modules would be something that would form into both of them. But the loop rotation action on coherent sheaves like isn't trivialized. Maybe let's talk about it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
Uh, okay, so uh, is e important? E. Yes. Okay, so now I want to uh, head to what's Roman, can you clarify, uh, are the two sides the same group or dual group? Uh, that's something I was actually uh, trying to throw under the rug. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was preparing the talk, I actually got confused about the point. <laughs> but, but so, so this equivalence uh, in, the, in the known statement, it is dual. How do you match the nilpotent? But in the um, in this uh, in the conjecture, it's basically see, because of the previous conjecture. It's the question of what sort of equivariance. Like so, so, so let me. I mean, frankly, okay. So, so there's a theorem, there's a conjecture, and there, uh, yeah, there's a bit, bit of mismatch between. So this theorem is for dual. The theorem is for the So, no, so, so here it's uh, G, G hat modules. And, uh, and important in the G check. And when I say matching central characters, it means that they are considered the upper triangular singularity with this. Right? Okay, so, so, so now. And to one, two, three, 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 one, two, want to uh, a local statement. I want to focus uh, on a specific in the fiber. So it's fixed. And well, and we want to, uh, as one uh, uh, kind of localization to make sense. And so we want to localization to act. And so this uh, <clears throat> restricts us, uh, like the general, uh, puts a constraint on E. So for this, we need E to be homogeneous. As we say. Uh, which means, again, as I already uh, said, it means that it's scaled by loop rotation. And then all rotation has for me. And there is a kind of a paper with this authors that I want to summarize in just one sentence. And so there is a construction. Self. And yeah. Uh, that. Uh, of um, an analog uh, of slot of a slice for for such for such string of fibers. Uh, so, uh, uh, so, so, so this is, uh, when you can see for E, it's, it sits in some, inside some space M. Um, so this is symplectic and this is Lagrangian. Um, and uh, 
so we basically construct it as a version also of kitchen space and and yeah there is a, a sister action contracting and uh, for e the waiting reform and so we construct it also as a version of kitchen space so it's some double space now uh, for the um situation where we or uh, one, but the connections have uh, like uh, simple uh, uh, regular singularity. X fields have yeah, simple pole is zero. And so this is uh, uh, essential singularity. Uh, singularity at infinity. Uh, yeah. Does it mean that you just take twisted Higgs fields with some? No, uh, you can think of them as twisted Higgs fields, but uh, actually, in the yeah, in this sim simple situation, which I will pass to now, yes, exactly. But in general, you just put some. Uh, there is some somewhat. You know, complicated condition on the pole here. It's not just the order of the pole. You have to say something about the pole apart to make you know, your e. That's basically. Cool. <clears throat> see, this thing sits inside something symplectic. Is there a non-loop analog for ordinary Springer fiber that would be nilpotent matrix? Yeah, yeah. It's just a slot of a slice, and it's uh, um, just a. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so, so it's inside like what the S utility resolution of the slice. So this would be, would be like uh, replacing full E and this replacing the M. There is also a, a kind of an important difference in that this is going to be a fiber of um, an integrable system. And here, here not. Here it's like. So I don't know. And some philosophy to suggest around this. Please do. Okay. Which one is the fiber of the integral system? Up, up. So, 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 yes. Yeah. So, M fibers over, well, it's actually feature base, where this is like a central fiber. So, this is in terms of system. Uh, and of course, in contrast, uh, so as he killed. Maps to S E still says S E tell maps to S E raise like uh, X in E. And so this is uh, still Lagrangian fiber, but this is not at all uh, an integral system, rather a resolution of singularity is bearish. So that's why it is. Okay, so uh, so now I want to head towards categories, and now I have a drastic restriction uh, restriction of generalities, generality. But it will be something interesting stuff, and so we fix e to be. Very particular form to be S, where T, uh, T is my uniformizer, so uh, L, G, is T. And S is a, uh, just a constant, a regular semi-symbol constant. So for SL2, this is exactly the example of maybe in Yakov's talk, he mentioned that in the simplest example that defines pre fiber, it's this infinite chain of P1s. So this is what we get. This is the picture of OE for that particular G. But the geometry, uh, I mean,
on perspective, it's an easy case of spring privacy for point count. It's boring, but uh, the origin is still uh, not non trivial. Maybe it's not trivial geometry question. You can ask about it. Um, Okay, and so um, uh, uh, so so basically, uh, maybe to uh, make uh, a, a, a long story short. So I'm just uh, uh, applying applying this one localization to this um, special case of equality. What I discussed, we arrive at the following statement that now is here. So, uh, here, like, um, I am in this situation where um, e, just to, to say a few words to motivate what's going to happen. So we, uh, uh, this E, it's a, a, a generic lift. It's certainly a homogeneous, manifestly homogeneous in the bottom. That's why it's a, a generic lift from all loops of bar equal to zero yes. here. And, uh, and so um, that was the direction zero spring of fiber. And so uh, this is the resolution of the slides. Sitting on the zero assumption. And I want equivariance in respect to that one. This is uh, now just that T is exactly the central answer of T. And um, the part invariant in the local patient. So, so uh, this uh, thing, okay, so now I'm, I, I didn't do a small localization, but I want to be on the batch side. And uh, so I want to use on, um, Supported Okay, so uh, for uh, yes, I'll give the remaining ten minutes to discuss this result. And then it was about the proof and uh, applications and is there supposed to be an E somewhere on the left hand side? What? An E on the left no, hand side? No, because it's, uh, E is already fixed. So, so you see, I mean, yeah, this is the uh, something that uh, you produce starting from the zero in important, and E is generic lift of the zero. So, uh, this uh, subscript G check, one E check. Yeah, with support. So ah, here yeah, this so just this. Okay, so first maybe I wanna comment on the right hand side. Um well I uh, my problem shifts are maybe not as popular at all as they should be. So let me understand. First there is an equivalent system form of the theorem. 
from when you think that it's been. Um, what doors do you What do you need with this fan? Uh, it's the right hand side from the end. Yeah. Um, and then you continue, and so uh, this is uh, a full a full subcategory. Uh, and this is a full subcategory in uh, the sheaves on a fine flex, which are p minus. Uh, sorry, E equivalent. So what's going on here? So the point is so, so P minus is a congruence, first congruence of group G of T minus the D minus one oh, equal to one. Uh, sorry, it's a uh, equal to infinity T zero. Um And uh, psi e is the character coming from, uh, so it's a character of this group. So that the differential degree So this is like the first congruence of group it maps to uh, what the additive, the additive uh, group. Of the linear algebra and then S you know, function here. And so, why these things appear here? Because uh, the point is that the M is a kind of reduction, it's not flat, uh, by this uh, group uh, P minus. And uh, uh, this uh, non trivial. Character. So, Quintonian reduction is I take most common versions, I take zeros of the moment map and I portion it by the group. But here I take the image uh, of this uh, differential, this character. So, this is like a, if, uh, you know, those who have the Springer theory, there is a similar construction of slices by Bremet. It's here. <laughs> also constructed. And uh, um, so now it kind of maybe makes more sense. Uh, Does that just work for this E or, or in general? Or on that part? No, it should work, but I mean, the paper is only about this thing, but the construction of M is in general by commentary reduction. And uh, the, if you're asking whether, you know, like any kind of empirical local theories, right? This then I mean we only really work the top. So by the way, this kind of thing you can state for finding dimensional spring fibers also, and we don't uh, uh yes, and so so which uh, full subcategory and so um So you can characterize it by a kind of singular support. So she uh, uh, in E of O minus so E. So either it can be identified as a full subcategory generated by a spherical uh, object or maybe. I down with a set of F stimulus support is contained to E. Okay, so Frank version is a shifted singular support, which I will close the section here about what it is, but at the moment. Yeah. Uh, Wait, what's the definition of this D of FL mod P? Yeah, yeah. So this is, uh, uh, well, uh, in the 
in the logic setting, you just take, uh, you know, <clears throat> you have a group and the character shift in the naive sense. You have a, like, uh, like one dimensional, obvious classification of one dimensional character. You, you can <laughs> have an obvious categorification of this covariance, I guess it's called, uh, uh, things to transform under the character. And so, uh, so you can do literally this in D module context or data context. And you can do also something with constructible comments using spiral of model, but maybe. Um, okay, so, uh, so, uh, so, I, idea of proof is really, uh, uh, uh sorry, so, so maybe still default proof to this an equivalence of the right categories, but the point uh, actually that we like is that this is there is also uh so, so there it's like still derived equivalent and but the point is that there, well this uh, of course has in terms of t structures and so the point is that a million category of machines uh, if uh, if you can also uh, write maybe in this familiar terms so this is uh, the category of uh, sort of its causal dual with small quantum uh, you uh, modules, okay, you can all those graded modules. <clears throat> and so, so, so it's a principal block. Uh, for uh, quantum group. Okay, and so in the remaining two minutes, I'll uh, give a proof and mention applications. Uh, uh, so, uh, yeah, so now idea of proof. So you we first uh, one checks that if you take the corresponding KTBA on the Gosmanian uh, modular. Minus psi, and uh, this is and so this is just a uh, <clears throat> semi simple category with a clean uh, every object from the previous logic clearly extends from the category, uh, and so so this is uh, was a related. Uh, uh, result by uh, describing the category of kind of Hecke factors acting here, uh, 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 left by uh, and uh, uh, private Shandler. <clears throat> and then uh, we do sort of uh, formal base change. No, we also need another input, uh, but it's one result that uh, uh, already local kind of uh, D is the most the ready And this is a block for the big quantum group. And now you can sort of put these two things together and it was some um, base change. And okay, I'm out of time, so I will not write this out. But uh, I mean, okay, so this is a rough, uh, this is a rough, technical, uh, there's this. Else, this good. And uh, so, so I just mentioned two applications and I'll stop. So first, um, 
get a map on cohomology of OE. So this uh, to the center of U. Yep. And so by <clears throat> can be also uh, uh, by other methods. And so this is in our paper with Pablo and also Pengshan Rick. Um, and, and then there is a, a kind of project. So this is joined with uh, Pablo and also Tony Fang and Bao Le Hong. And so this is some very special case um, of uh, something from number theory of uh, uh, Broy Nazar conjecture, which is uh, relates some sort of limit cycles in the cohomology of the cohomology of this Angersmanian with multiplicities uh, hmm. with Gersonistic polynomials, such I find Gersonistic polynomials. polynomials. No description. Some limit cycles under certain degeneration. Yeah, or, or, or degeneration, like um, it's very like degeneration, just mean it's And then we can fix points. Uh, okay, and so uh, Hmm. Let me just uh, finish by saying so that this uh, paper uh, with construction of this and bore it also contains a conjectural generalization of this to other homogeneous importance, which is an example <clears throat> wild, uh, wildly ramified local. Okay, I'll stop here. Yeah,